In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on building a slideshow in the most recent version of PowerDirector. We're going to look at two areas. One is adding the same transition between each of your slides. The second is resizing your images. There have been some tools that have changed or changed locations in PowerDirector 2024 or 365 if you've upgraded after the middle of September on 2023. And so I'd like to show you a little bit of the differences in which these tools work for those of you who are constructing your own slideshow. Let's take this image here and we're going to work first of all with resizing. When I put an image on the timeline, what we find is that most images from cameras are not 16 by 9. So I have this black area to the left and to the right. To solve that, I simply need to crop it. So I'm going to highlight that image and then click on the Crop tool above the timelines. I've enlarged my crop screen here and here we have, it tells me my aspect ratio is original. Let's do a 16 by 9. So I'll click the down arrow and choose 16 by 9. Once again, we have the black areas to the right and to the left. So what I need to do is I need to shrink the area. I will lose some of my image, but hopefully not too much. And we'll move it just about here for width. Now, if I move it up and down, in this case, I'm going to see that little pink line on the top or on the bottom. So I can adjust that way, but I don't have one on the left or the right. So I find what I think works, and then I simply click OK, and now it fills the screen without distorting the image. That's what you have to do if you want to fill an entire 16 by 9 project with your images. The second thing that sometimes we want to do if we're building our own slideshow and not using the slideshow creator is have a transition. And we want maybe the same transition between all the clips, or at least to start out with. How do you do that? I'm going to click on my transitions, and I'm going to be in the My Content area where I have my favorites. So I'll open up the My Content and click on My Favorites. And here are the ones that I use a lot. Let's take a simple fade. I'm going to click on that. Now when you do that, if you look carefully above the timeline, you're going to have two different boxes. If I look on the left one, it says apply my favorite transitions randomly to all videos. So it will take everything here and apply them randomly between these clips. The one to the right of it is the one I want. Apply the selected transition to all videos on this track. So I'm going to click on that. Then I have a prefix, postfix, cross, or overlap. Most cases will use a cross. I'll click on that and it added the same transition between every single image that I'm using in my slideshow. So I'm going to have a constant fade between image one, image two, image three, and image four. That's going to be my only transition. Now, if I want it to be simply the dominant transition and not the only one, what I can do is I can stop my play and I can take any other transition and drag and replace it with any other one if I want to spread it out, make it slightly different at the beginning, at the end, wherever I want to go. So I can replace them if I want. But it's nice to know that you don't have to do all of them individually to start with, and you can make one transition uniform throughout your slideshow. I hope you find that useful as you grow accustomed to using the new interface when you're creating slideshows in PowerDirector.